Hey everyone, welcome back to Small Batch Devs. My name is Austin. And I'm Elliot. Today we're covering the Firebase authentication inside of the Cypress testing framework. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. We would definitely appreciate it. But without any further ado, let's jump into it. So if you're unfamiliar with Cypress, Cypress is a very powerful end-to-end -end test framework. And we recently released a video, which is an introduction video on Cypress. You can check it out right here. Um, we'll also leave a link in the description and it will just get you uh, up and started with Cypress to teach you a little bit about what it is and also help you get Cypress installed um, in your project so you can start testing your code. So today we're going to be covering testing features in your application that require users to be authenticated as well as testing our login flow. We're using the Firebase authentication SDK which can add a layer of complexity to logging users in in a testing framework, but don't worry, we'll walk you through it and it'll be a breeze. When testing features that require authentication in Cypress, your first instinct might be to use a UI to log in a dummy user so that you can test these features. And that's a pretty good first instinct, but the Cypress docs actually don't recommend you do this. Yeah, you see every time you use the UI flow to log in a user, it can become very slow when doing that many times for many tests. And compared to logging users in under the hood or behind the scenes, this is a much faster approach as you can just simply call a method and log them in as opposed to having to go through the whole flow, navigating between screens and repeating that over and over again. And what this just means from a Cypress perspective is that you'll just write custom commands to actually, well, log in your user programmatically. But this doesn't mean that you shouldn't test your login UI flow. You should definitely do that. But instead of running this test for every time you need authentication to happen, you'll just run this test once to ensure that it works, and then you'll use the behind the scenes approach for every other authenticated test just for speed purposes. So what we're gonna do for the remainder of this video is test logging in through the UI, authenticating the user that way, and then we'll test the functionality that requires authentication by just logging the user in programmatically. All right, so the first thing we're going to cover today is testing the UI flow for your login system. And before we get started writing that test, we're just gonna create some mock data so that we can input a user's email and password to log in with. So as you can see on the screen, we just have a simple JSON file that holds our auth user, and we're putting this in the Cypress fixtures folder, which is just a folder denoted for having mock data in it. And we just have an email and a password. These are, of course, both fake. But one thing to note is that we're not testing our signup flow. We're testing our login flow. So we need this user to already be created in our database, which we have. Uh, we did that in the Firebase console. We just added a user, put these values in, and that was it. Uh, you should test your signup flow as well, but we're not going to be doing that today. We're just focusing on the login flow. Now we're in our Cypress test that we're going to use to test the login flow through the UI. And the first thing we do here is bring in that mock auth user. And then we jump into our should log in with email and password test. We're just separating the email and password into their own variables so we can use them later on in the test. And then we're, we're navigating to the login page with the, the visit command. We then check for the sign in with email um, where it contains that on the page. Uh, it will be a button because we have a few different sign in methods. And we're clicking the sign in with email button because we're logging in with our, our email and password. We then check for uh, the input field of type email and enter in the email, type that out. And then we look for the input field of type password and uh, enter in our password. We then get the element that has the CSS class of email dash login dash button. Um, and if it contains the text login, we click on that. And then at this time, we should be actually logging in that user. Um, we do assume that it takes us back to the homepage because we have that built into our logic um, once a successful login occurs. And um, then we, we also have a banner on our page that, um, which I'll show you later, that uh, contains the users, the currently logged in user's email. So that's how we're checking if the login was successful or not. And then we just go ahead and log that user out. So now that we've got that test written, we just are going to open up Cypress, as you can see, and we're gonna make sure that that test works. 
Uh, before we opened up Cypress, we just served up our application. So for us, we're using Angular, so we're gonna use ng-serve. Once that's done and it's served up, we're then going to open Cypress with another terminal. We're gonna run Cypress open, and that's going to open up our test runner, which you can see here on the right. And we just clicked on the login spec file because that's the file that we're testing. And it opened up this new window here. So once that window opens up and you run your login spec file, it's going to automatically run that login UI flow test. And you can see it's typing in our username and password and we're getting redirected. And the test passed. We have a little check mark up here. Pretty cool. Now we're in our commands.js file, which is in our support directory for Cypress. And this file will just help us write any custom commands that we need to make in our uh, Cypress testing. So what we're doing here is basically kind of hijacking and hacking so we can log in a user programmatically. Obviously this is specific to Firebase. Um, if you've seen the Firebase config before, if you've used Firebase, it will look familiar and you obviously have your own API values here for communicating with Firebase. But if you're not using Firebase, this is basically where you'll call off to your authentication server or whatever, what have you um, and may basically manually make that, uh, f that, log that user login. Just as a side note, we did have to do some digging uh, in order to find out how to do this through, uh, using Firebase. So if you want to check out that Stack Overflow solution, this is basically where we got that solution from. So now that we have our Firebase config saved in a local variable, we can use that in our Cypress command. So as you can see on the screen, we're using cypress.commands.add to add a custom command. And the name of that command will just be the first parameter and we're just going to use login, but you could also use sign in, login user, login auth user, whatever you want. And then the second parameter of this function is just a custom function that runs whatever logic you need to, to log in your user or perform whatever actions that this custom command should run. So we're just going to be asking for an email and password if we want to specify a different email and password than our defaults in whatever test we're running in case we have a separate user for some different billing scenario or what have you. But all we're going to be doing here is using our newly created Firebase instance that we made up above to sign in with our email and password and we're just going to return that promise so that we can wait for it to complete in any tests that use this custom command. Now, if you're not using Firebase, like Austin said, this is where you will put in your HTTP calls or any other API that you're using to log in your user. And it's gonna be specific to whatever service you're using. So now that we have this command written, we can actually use cypress.login in all of our other tests and it will call this function and it's all hooked up for us. All we have to do is define it right here. And we also went ahead and added a custom Cypress command for logging out. So um, it's very similar to the previous command that Elliot went over, except this is just calling the Firebase logout command. So now we're back in our login.spec.js file where we're writing our login tests. And we're just going to quickly show and demonstrate the functionality of those custom commands. Uh, normally you wouldn't really write a test for this because you already have a test for your login UI flow and uh, there's really no need to test this custom command works. Um, but here we are, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and test it. So you can see we're pulling in that same auth user we did from our previous test. We're navigating to our homepage and then we're gonna be using our custom command, sci.login and we're gonna pass in those email and passwords. And at this point, we're not navigating or doing any more commands, but that login will log our user in through Firebase's service and our app should respond to that. So you can see the next line, we're checking for that email to be on the screen like we did in the previous test. And then we're just logging back out for some cleanup. Now we're gonna write a more practical uh, Cypress test for testing our logout button that's on the screen. And we're gonna use that behind the scenes login uh, Cypress custom command, if you will. So as I mentioned, should log out via logout button. So when we click that logout button, we actually are logging out. 
And again, we're bringing in that auth user and splitting it out to an email and password, visiting the home page, and then we're using that behind the scene login. So at this point, we should be logged in in the app and we're checking and making sure that we are logged in using that contains email and making sure that it exists uh, on the page. And then we're calling or we're clicking rather our logout button. And at this time, obviously we should be logged out and then we're checking to ensure that that email no longer exists on the page. So now that we have those two new tests written, we're going to hop back into our Cypress test runner. And of course it was updating in the background while we were writing those tests. So we can just leave it open and go ahead and click on our login spec file and it will just jump straight into running those tests. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> Uh, and of course we can click these and open them up and watch the progress, the timeline. So that's going to wrap it up today. We just showed you a couple of authentication features of Cypress and thank you so much for watching and we hope you learned something. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Maybe even hit that notification bell up top so you get notified when we post our videos. Also, if you don't mind, check out our uh, Small Batch Devs podcast. It's on some of the major uh, podcasting platforms. We'll leave some links down below. We just hang out, talk about coding and tech, and drink a little bit of whiskey if that's something you're interested in. But thanks again for watching this video, and we'll see you again soon. Peace.